French knot has a reputation for being a difficult and tricky embroidery stitch, but I have some tips that will help you be successful with it. Today, I'm going to show you how to do French knot. French knot can be a difficult embroidery stitch the first time you try it, but I'm going to share some tips that will help make it easier. So French knot is a really versatile embroidery stitch and you can use it in a lot of different ways and it adds great texture to your embroidery piece. So you can use it to add little pieces like it's often used in the center of flowers or snowflakes or something else, or you can do the entire piece with French knot. So here on this pillow, I've done this whole motif with French knot. And you can see it's a fun little um, texture to it. So uh, one, one tip, if you're gonna stitch an entire piece with French knots, it can be pretty time consuming, but it gives you a great result. Um, another place that French knot is commonly used is any kind of curly hair, like in sheep, or if you're stitching a person with curly hair, French knots is a great option for that. So once you are confident to stitch a French knot, then you'll find a lot of places that you can use it in your embroidery project. So let's see how to stitch French knot. When you're stitching French knots, the type of needle that you choose could make a big difference. You want a needle that has an eye that is long and narrow, long enough to be able to accommodate the thickness of the thread that you have. But what you don't want to have is an eye of the needle that is rounded, that kind of sticks out from the needle. You want the whole needle to be smooth and straight. So when you're pulling it through the thread, it will pull through easily. So if you are struggling with pulling your needle through the thread, then that might be something to look at. Maybe try a different needle with a more long skinny eye and not a round fat eye. Once you have your proper needle, then you're ready to go. If you've had trouble with French knots in the past, a good warm up is to practice knotting your thread. If I hold the needle, wrap the end of the thread around and then pull the needle through, it should leave a little knot in your thread. This is similar to French knots, so it's a great warm up. Stitching French knots is easier if you have both hands available. So if you have a stand to hold your fabric in your hoop, then that is helpful. But if not, even clamping your hoop onto the edge of a table can be helpful. So once your hoop is set up, bring the thread to the front of the fabric and then wrap the thread around the needle and then bring the needle back into the fabric close to where you brought it up. As you're pulling the needle through, hold the thread with your non-dominant hand. So one of the tricks people sometimes miss is wrap the thread around the needle. Don't try and wrap the needle around the thread. The size of knot that you make can be determined by a number of different factors. Here you can see I did two different knots with one strand of embroidery floss. One had two wraps and the other had three wraps. Now I'm using three strands of embroidery floss, so already the knots are going to be bigger. This knot is done with only one wrap, but you can see it's similar in size to the other knots. Now you'll see the difference of two wraps and then three wraps. Now I'm switching to size five pearl cotton, which is a much thicker thread. So you'll be able to see the difference here with having a knot with only one wrap, a knot with two wraps, and then a knot with three wraps. So you can see the difference that's been made by changing both the thickness of the thread and the number of wraps in the knot. So there it is. You can see how versatile it is to make different sizes by changing 
either the number of strands of thread, the thickness of thread, or the number of wraps. The biggest way to get better at doing French knots is to practice. So just get a scrap of fabric and some thread and just try it. Once you get the first one, then you've unlocked the secret and you'll be able to go on and confidently do them in all different ways. So have fun embroidering with French knots. For more embroidery tutorials, tips, and patterns, be sure to check out ewoodestudio.com.